Hello everyone, my name is Brooke with the National Weather Service Office in Sacramento, and today is January 5th, Thursday, 2017. This is a forecast updated briefing based on the atmospheric river event that we're expecting this weekend from Saturday into the first part of Monday. At this point, the forecast is still on track. We're looking at heavy precipitation amounts with three to five inches in the valley and up to 10 to 15 inches up in portions of the Sierra. Now, what has changed in the forecast is that now we're seeing a second storm that should be arriving on Tuesday into Wednesday. At this point, our confidence isn't super high in terms of how much additional precipitation will arrive. There's one model showing that it could be another very wet storm, whereas other models are showing that it may not be quite as wet. Regardless of the scenario, any additional precipitation amounts are going to worsen the impacts that we first feel between Saturday and Monday. So with that said, now is the time to seriously start thinking about a flood plan. First off, if you had to evacuate your home, do you know where you could evacuate? Do you have all the supplies you need and documents, important documents that you might need to take with you? If not, Gather them all today and tomorrow in case you need to evacuate your house. If you don't need to evacuate, you still need to plan for the possibility of you may have to stay and shelter at your house for over a day. Um, there could be power outages that last for more than 24 hours, or there may be roads around you that are closed for several days due to flooding, mudslides, or down trees. So in those scenarios, do you have enough supplies at home to last you? Do you have enough food? Do you have enough drinking water? What about medical supplies? And what are you going to do about your pets if you have any, or livestock? How are you going to take care of them? Other things to think about is how will you communicate with your family, extended family or friends, um, in case this is a, an extended flooding event. So now we're going to follow this briefing up with a flood safety video that you can watch quickly to have a better understanding and visualization of the possible impacts that could occur next week. In the meantime, be prepared, stay safe, and stay tuned. Thank you. Hello, my name is Brooke and I work for the National Weather Service. In this video, I'm going to share some very important flood safety tips with you. First, let's do a review of some of the common types of flooding that create hazardous situations. Heavy or excessive rains, especially if coupled with snow melt, create flooding along river and stream banks as well as in low-lying or urban areas. In steeper terrain, rains can loosen the soil and rocks causing debris flow flooding which travels to lower-lying areas and has serious impacts to anything in its path. Heavy downpours can also cause flash flooding, rapid flooding due to raging torrents of water. This is especially dangerous when heavy downpours get funneled down narrow canyons, but can also occur without any rain, such as in the event of a dam or levee break. Did you know it only takes six inches of moving water to sweep an adult off their feet? For cars, it only takes six to 12 inches of moving water to sweep a car downstream. And for trucks or SUVs, it can take as little as 18 inches. Most flood-related deaths occur when people are in their vehicles trying to cross a flooded road. They often don't realize that floodwaters are swift and strong enough to quickly damage a road, which makes the water deeper than it appears. The best safety tip is to be prepared before flooding occurs. Be familiar with the weather forecast so you know if flooding or flash flooding is a possibility. This is especially important if you are traveling or doing outdoor activities. Know if you are in a flood inundation zone and be familiar with quick routes to get to higher ground. Have an emergency preparedness kit ready in case you need to evacuate and don't forget to put important documents in a watertight bag or container. And in summary, when flooding does occur, heed evacuation orders, move to higher ground, stay away from bodies of water, and that includes flooded roads, avoid low-lying areas, and stay tuned to local forecasts.